Hey, uh, welcome to my channel. 2022 is a new year. Um, I've decided this year to do some cycling vlog videos. Challenges that I've set myself this year, uh, goals that I've set myself. If you're a new cyclist like me, um, and you're just getting into it, or you're thinking about getting into it, um, stick around, like, share, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. Today I'm gonna to talk about a couple of different things. Riding with a heart rate monitor, which is what I've been doing for the last couple of rides. Um, I'll link below my Strava, um, my Instagram and different stuff. But I've been using a heart rate monitor for my recovery rides, mainly because I'm coming back from an injury. And I know that although you might have a certain FTP or a certain wattage that you ride at, so a power meter will be good. Um, if you're coming back from injury, your body will struggle to get those figures. Um, so a heart rate monitor has been really good for me just to monitor my, um, obviously my heart rate, my resting heart rate, heart rate, my um, maximum heart rate, zone two endurance zone um, as much as possible. Uh, so going onto my bike, uh, today I'll be fitting my power meter. I'm gonna open the box, but this isn't the power meter. This is the crank that's come off because the power meter is already on. Um, I won't get a chance to ride it today because it's pretty grim outside. Um, so for the first couple of rides, I'm gonna ride with a power meter and a heart rate monitor and see, not really check anything really. Um, there's a really good way, I'll bring it up on screen, but typing in your FTP and chunking in, like getting your performance zones ready for that. So you can do that for your heart rate or your um, FTP, functional threshold power. So yeah, if you're new to cycling, stick around. Hopefully you like the scenes. Um, I've got a new really exciting vlog series coming up, which is I'm gonna be building a bike this year. So hopefully you guys can get on board with that, see which decisions I make. Um, I'm gonna be buying a frame from Velo Build, uh, which is a Chinese company. Um, look out for a new video on that coming soon post a little clip of me fitting my power meter today i'm probably sure i'm pretty sure there's you can do it a lot faster and a lot better than me but you know this is what this channel is all about so yeah like subscribe um share these videos get involved and uh new videos coming soon Hello again. Um, I thought this would probably make a bit more sense if I actually showed you my bike for a start and just went out and did a little effort with the new power meter on because it's dry-ish, the roads are pretty sodden um, but yeah we're just gonna go and do a little effort just on a little flat road near me. Um, so I've put the uh, metrics on my screen and we've got an average 10 second power and we'll see how we get on with that um, and here's the cat that keeps coming into our house let's have a look at our power Really cool, looking down, seeing that power. I haven't got my heart rate monitor on, but my next big recovery ride 
endurance ride. I'll wear both, see what's happening.